Let's put it this way, there's tougher jobs for sure. I like to put in time into surfboards. Um, I like to try them out and try to figure it out how it works. And when you only got 20 half an hour to test the board, it, that's the hard part of it. Always give the board an opportunity, so saying. Never, never be negative about a surfboard. But it's, it's a fun experience at the end, you know, you makes you appreciate the good boards you've had over the years, <laughs> the good magic boards and the relationship you have with your shaper. There's, uh, there's a couple regions, I wouldn't speak about waves, but there's regions where there's potential. Portugal is definitely one of them, you know. Portugal's got crazy, crazy potential uh, in terms of heavy slabs and, you know, more in like the 10, 12 foot range. Uh, there's still a lot to be done, you know, at Nazare, uh, a bunch of secret slabs, you know, it's, it seems like each year um, we keep on pushing the boundaries even further. Each year I feel more comfortable. Each year my gear is better, uh, more prepared. Yeah, I, I feel like Ireland is definitely the, the place where, especially Mullingmore is, is a place where ride of the years will happen in the future. Um, it seems like uh, Fergal and Tom have opened the doors in the past. The cooler the crew, the tighter the crew, the the crazier things happen, you know. You can see that at Jaws and there's starting to be a crew at Mullingmore too. And yeah, you know, there's a lot to be discovered. It's just a matter of being there on the right swell. You know, like anything above 10 foot is with offshore winds. That's something where you open your eyes and you're like, wow, like I gotta be there, you know. To be able to feel comfortable when it's huge somewhere, anywhere in the world, you gotta be there when it's small too, you know. You gotta dial in your boards, you gotta you know, know the reef, gain your confidence. Always, always use inflatable vest. There's too much that can go wrong and too little that can with a, with a vest. Portugal, we don't really use water, water safety, um, so we don't have skis at the moment supporting us. Um, so that's the next step. I think we have pushed a lot the boundaries, especially in Portugal, the last few years without having water safety. And to kind of take on the next step, um, it'd be important to have a ski in the water, at least one. Um, because this year, I kind of, I really wanted to get one of those bombs I've been dreaming about for years. And I finally had the balls to do so. And I fell on the wave and I pulled my vest and I almost, had a two-way hold down, so in those moments it's really important to have a ski by your side. Um, I don't need to go that thick with the Hurley suits these days with this um, silver lining they do. It, it, it felt amazing in Ireland this winter in the cold water. I was, I was wearing a, a, a 4.3, which, which usually I, I'd be wearing a, a you know, 5 mil at least. It definitely keeps me more time in the water because of the rash. They're, yeah, com comfortable board shorts make, make the difference, for sure. Kind of intuition, you know, like, I just felt like doing something, like making a little series and, and we got the right people together, like Gustavo, Gaston, and um, yeah, we just all connected, you know, we went on like a couple of full missions. Um, turned out to be a pretty cool series, People are stoked on it. Um, it got some international recognition, which is not easy for a European surfer. And uh, now is the hard part. You know, we, we made a good series uh, with uh, very few resources. Um, and now the harder part is to do better. You know, it's yeah, we got a few. We got a few cool ideas. Yeah, just basically try to get the heaviest, biggest slabs there is, and try to tell some cool stories, meet some nice people. And yeah, come back in one piece. <laughs> it is important, but you can't make it the center of your life, you know. There has been a really big cult culture shift in the last five, five years, you know. It's all about this online buzz, I guess, you know. Like everyone knows what everyone is doing at that exact moment, you know. It's, it's, uh, it's positive yet negative too. 
Um, as a professional, it's uh, extremely positive. You know, you you can create your own content and spread it out the way you want it. You know, you're not relying on anyone to do so. So I just try to let it roll and trust the people I work with that help me a lot uh, when it comes to these things and they take care of it. I just have to go in the water and try to perform. You know, you gotta you gotta stay focused on what is your real goal and which is being in the water and uh, you know hanging out with your friends, performing the best you can. You know, I, I got mixed feelings. I really like competing. I love you know when things go right, uh, when I got the right board under my feet. It's amazing to be able to compete against the best. And if there's time to do it, it's definitely now when I'm 25. And that's what I really love doing as well. It's just chasing swells, getting barreled, pushing my boundaries in terms of big wave surfing. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's still my goal has always been the same. It's just trying to be as most complete as possible. Um, you know, being able to do airs, surf QS waves, as well as charge a big swell at Chopu or anywhere else in the world. Um, yeah, I just love surfing and that's, that's the most important for me to keep in the water and to spend those hours if it's doing a heat or you know chasing swell, getting barreled with a couple of friends in Indo. Um, all those moments are ext extremely special.